Our next guest believes the botched gun running operation known as Fast and Furious was created by the Obama administration to push its anti Second Amendment agenda. Joining us now is Katie Pavlich. She's author of the new bestseller, Fast and Furious Barack Obama's Bloodiest Scandal and the Shameless Cover Up. That's quite a uh, subtitle. Also, a news editor at townhall.com. Great to have you with us. Great to be here. Congratulations on the new book. Uh, I know it's doing terrifically, and uh, uh, it, it's an important book. Uh, let, let's go first to the to the issue of Eric Holder, uh, Congressman Issa, Senator Grassley. Uh, without their energy and their focus and their leadership, this this would just not be uh, anywhere uh, in, in terms of an investigation. Uh, but. Where is Eric Holder in all of this? Does it go straight to him? I absolutely believe that it does. And the evidence that we provide in the book shows that, you know, he's changed his testimony multiple times under oath in front of Congress. May 2011 was the first time he was act asked about Operation Fast and Furious, said he knew about it for a few weeks. Turns out he really wanted in, in the fall. He testified again, said he knew about it in February. But we have memos that show they're addressed directly to Attorney General Eric Holder, five of them dated summer 2010, nearly a year before he, he said he knew about it, talking about this operation. And, and as, you, as you record, he had to change, uh, and the Justice Department had to change its uh, transmission to the uh, committee describing those events and, and his testimony. Uh, you, you also very clearly state that another secretary uh, is also implicated, and, and that is, of course, Janet Napolitano, the Secretary of Homeland Security. Uh, you believe strongly that she perjured herself. Look, my sources say that she absolutely knew about Operation Fast and Furious while it was going on. They say that she lied before Congress when she said she hadn't talked to Attorney General Eric Holder. And what I do in the book is I really connect the dots on who the players are in this operation. One of the people that is key to connecting Eric Holder and, and Janet Napolitano is former U.S. Attorney for Arizona, Dennis Burke. He served under Janet Napolitano while she was U.S. Attorney in Arizona, served as her Chief of Staff her entire career as Governor in Arizona, followed her to Washington, D.C., into Homeland Security, was her Senior Homeland Security Advisor, and then was appointed U.S. Attorney in Arizona. And resigned, and resigned. at the early stages of this investigation and has, uh, for the most part, not been heard from since. Right. Uh, and is seldom even mentioned in reporting by the national media. Right. And then following up on that point, with his, his close connections and friendships to Janet Napolitano, he was also on Attorney General Eric Holder's Attorney General Advisory Board, giving him direct advice during the Obama administration about how to handle gun trafficking into Mexico, how to handle border issues. You think that part of, and you report that part of, the reason driving uh, Fast and Furious uh, was an effort to, uh, to attack further the, the Second Amendment rights of Americans. How so, very quickly? We have emails to prove it. I have sources saying that ATF headquarters actually set up these gun shops in order to prove a false statistic that guns in Mexico that are found at violent crime scenes come from gun shops in America. And the way they did that is they were flooding Mexico with guns so they could turn around and say, look at all these guns showing up at violent crime scenes in Mexico. We absolutely have to regulate these gun shops in America. A lot of people forget that contemporaneously uh, with Operation Fast and Furious, the Attorney General of the United States was decrying, uh, even as his agents at ATF were ordering gun dealers to ship those guns into the hands of the cartels, he was decrying before the American public those weapons going into the hands of, uh, uh, of the Mexican drug cartels. Katie Pavlich, great to have you with us. The book is Fast and Furious. We recommend it highly and uh, a bestseller. Couldn't happen to a nicer person. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for the great reporting.